Hey y'all, uh, this is Deb Evans. I am an enrolled agent, a federally licensed tax professional, and a certified financial coach through Ramsey Solutions. And I wanted to give you a little business tip today um, in our part of my tax tips videos. I saw a post recently where somebody said, oh, we have our LLC, so we are an official business. Well, first of all, congratulations on getting your LLC, but second of all, you are already an official business. In Texas, you're a business as soon as you open your doors, as soon as you ask someone for money, as soon as you provide a, a product or service, you're in business, and as such, you have certain responsibilities. One of those is obviously reporting your income and paying taxes in your annual tax return. Now, how that works is going to depend on your business entity. As an LLC, the IRS looks at you as a sole proprietor. LLCs are a state entity. Uh, the IRS does not recognize LLCs. So according to them, you're a sole proprietor, just as if you had never filed your LLC. You're going to file your taxes on your personal tax return on a Schedule C, which is where you report your business income. Now, another responsibility we have as Texas businesses is to collect sales tax. So if you are providing a product or most services in Texas, those are taxed. Uh, we have a sales tax, 6.25% is the state sales tax. And then different locales have their own, um, own tax on top of that. So the average is 8.25%. Now what that means is when you put forth your product and collect money, you need to charge an additional amount for sales tax. This is not your money, this is the state's money and the state entrusts you to do 